Hey guys, we are going to shop at Costco today. My husband is actually meeting me here and I'm also really hungry, but it's a little bit like it's morning and I'm like, is it weird to have a hot dog at like 10 a.m.? Because I might have a hot dog at 10 a.m. So we actually have to renew our Costco card. So that's what we're doing right now. So I am going to do this video a little bit differently and I'm gonna kind of take you along while I shop, but then at the end, I'm gonna spread everything out at home and actually show you what we actually did buy because I know a lot of you guys asked me for that last time. Now we're pumped because we just discovered there's an app and then you don't have to carry your card around. Because I hate, I, I hate all the membership cards yeah. that you have to keep in your wallet. Yeah, so. it's nice to be able, that's huge, game changer. So I'm trying the hot turkey and provolone sandwich for the first time. Not that it's any healthier because actually I think this has more calories than the freaking delicious. Yeah, this was seven hundred and ten, that was seven forty. So stop. I don't want to talk like about somebody it. Somebody made the right choice here. <laughs> All right. We're gonna start off strong here. This looks awfully similar to the Anilon ones we have. Uh hundred and fifty dollars for thirteen pieces. One, two, three, four, five, six different like pans. Oh no, seven, eight. Whoa. And then some lids, that is nice. And that nonstick is really good. I have a very similar hair dryer to this um, and they're really good. I've read a lot of reviews that say they're really good. 70 bucks, it's pricey, but this is something that should actually last you a long time. And it comes with a nice round brush. I also have these, these are 45 here, which is a good deal. Oh my gosh, how adorable are these? 9.99 slipper socks, they're so cute. So this is like the newer version of what we have. And it is what, four fifty right now? It's one hundred and thirty dollars off. This is incredible because you, it's it's cordless. So you plug it in when you're not using it, but it'll last like thirty minutes, and it actually like sucks up stuff. <sighs> I love it. Look how nice this is. It's like a really solid two hundred seventy bucks, so it's not like it's cheap, but it feels really nice. It's like a it's nice a writing piece desk. Of furniture. What's I the difference between the a ferret one... and a writing desk? Look, it's got. Oh. I know. Fancy, kind of. I don't need it. I just like it. I just like looking at it. <laughs> Look how cute these bowls are. Oh, it's dirty. They seem but well made. They do. Fifteen bucks. Those are glued down. Oh, okay. That's smart. They're. That's just. I like that. It's like kind of an off-white, and they're cute. I don't know that we need them right now, but again, nice though. <laughs> they're like eye candy, <laughs> bowl candy. Oh my gosh! But this is my favorite eye candy yet. These cute little like ceramic, they're measuring cups. So each one, well, where did I see it? Each one has like a measurement in it. Oh my gosh. Look how, those are just so cute. Okay, uh, Tyler, did you see these? You're looking at lights, I'm looking at kitchen stuff. That's funny. Um, these pepper and salt mills, these look really bougie, <laughs> but they're 15 bucks. That's nice. Yeah, cool. Those are really cool. It's like a, it's a flat thing, but it looks like a skylight, but it mounts flush against the wall. And you can see it's like a, just an LED light. That's really cool. It's genius. If you I, just want, yeah. a, if it's a dim space that you need a lot of light and it would kind of make it look probably bigger. Yeah. It kind of opens I've it up. I've already hung a couple lights in our uh, garage, but that'd be, a, that'd be the perfect thing for that. Mm -hmm. You look really European in this outfit. Oh, man, and so we're taking our time in all these like fun random aisles. Cause we, I feel like most of the time when we come here, we come like once a month. Yeah if that, um, we're usually in a little more of a rush. So when we actually can like take our time and look through everything, it's so exciting. So I'm getting a rosé <laughs> and Tyler's getting some smart switches. Yeah, so this is actually a really good deal because I was just at Lowe's the other day and these were probably each like at least 25 bucks a piece. This is 25 for two that works with she who must not be named. <laughs> and uh, it, we can put them like down in our basement. So like if we're watching a movie or something, cause we usually eat dinner and then we watch a movie, we can eat dinner with the lights on and then say, Alexa, turn off the lights and then she will. It is our lazy dreams. Oh, it's wonderful to live in 2019, almost 2020. It's the stuff of yeah. lazy dreams. So we're getting a little bit of Christmas shopping done too. And they have all of these like little PJ sets and different things. And it's the, the deals they have here are always so much better than anywhere else, especially for like Carter's brand stuff. Oh my gosh, I think I might get this for my niece. Such a cute little PJ set. So these chenille sweaters are like 15 bucks. They're so soft. I love this like rosy blush color. Oh my gosh. Okay, $12.97. All of these flannel like women's PJ sets. I've been wanting some more PJ sets, but I didn't. I mean, some of them online are so expensive. So these feel really soft, but they don't feel too heavy. And I think I like this little like ski pattern the best. So I think I'm gonna buy this as a Christmas gift to myself. $12.97, these insanely soft sweaters. I think I actually am gonna get 
this like lighter blue one. Oh my gosh. Okay. I'm a little bit mad because I just bought a shirt very similar to this for way more than $15. Um, it's Kendall and Kylie brand. I didn't know they sold any of that here, but I love this pattern. I'm just like guffawing. Oh my gosh. That's so cute. They have like the dark black too. Oh my gosh. These are the plushest robes I've ever felt. $15. <laughs> feels so well made. Okay, I like actually don't have room in my sock drawer for these, but these are super soft. They're Lucky brand and they are $10 for six of them. They're so cozy, just like lounge around in. You can wear them with boots. So by the way, we were just talking about these like layers you can put on to like stay warm. Didn't keep us as warm as we needed them to. I'll say that. Yeah, these was, ones, we were kind of have some that are really good, but these were not very good. Yeah, it is what it is. Um, we were both talking though, they had an amazing women's section and like tons of baby and kids stuff that's really cute. Not a lot of men's stuff this time around. And Tyler was saying usually when he's here, he feels like there's so much he wants. Don't you, th I mean, right? Yeah, but today was not, yeah, not. Yeah. Not, not Misty's Really today. focusing heavy on the ladies. Just like losing it over all of these good books. They always have so many. I want to read this. This just came out. His Elton John's. This yeah. is on both of our lists. Yeah, I want to read that. And then this, I want to see the film actually. I've heard it's really good. I don't feel the need to read that book. I just want to watch the Netflix movie. Yeah, that's about as much as I want to. I'm sure the book's fantastic, but there are certain things I want to read and then watch, and other things I'm like, I'll just watch it. <laughs> we pine over this every year, this cute yeah. little village. Yeah, because I saw it here last year, and I'm like, I really want it. But I'm like, I want to buy it all as a kit. Like, I don't want to have to, like, build it up over time. <laughs> Although it is kind of fun to build up, too, but yeah. But it's nice when it all matches. It. Yeah. <laughs> it's so cute. And I'm sure actually $99 is probably a good deal, but I just, I can't bring myself to spend that much on it. I know. If it was like 50, maybe. Yeah, too bad they don't clearance it out at the end of the year. I know. Right? Or at the end as of the season. Yeah. Look how adorable. Oh, it's so classic. The complete tales. It's the so book. cute. Also, this is Jimmy Kimmel's new book and all proceeds go to children's hospitals. <gasps> he, he, yeah, written, written and illustrated by him. Do we buy it? That's so cool. Probably. We bought a lot of the books. We bought Jimmy Fallon's books, or at least, no, we someone got it for us. Yeah. So we're getting some gift baskets for something for our neighborhood. It's a long story, but so that's not really part of this haul. <laughs> but these are pretty cool. Some of them are really expensive, but they have some really cool ones, like this one that has a lot of like chocolate and snacks and stuff. I think we're going to give these a try. These look really, really good. Now I'm just hungry. Do we think these work? Because, man, if they worked, I would buy it in a heartbeat. But I don't know. Have any of you guys tried these? I feel like my shoulders are always sore. I don't know if you guys know this, but I'm a big fan of chickpeas. <laughs> and these are actually really good. They're just sea salt. They're a little heavy on the salt, but they're really good. And they're crunchy and they kind of satisfy if you want something salty and crunchy. Yeah. So they're very protein. good. Yeah, and this is the first time I've seen them in this big bag. So we already threw one in our cart. All right, we've been here long enough that I need to do my second bathroom run. So make fun of me if you will. So we are thinking of funny white elephant gifts and we've already gotten the ones we need but we were talking about how funny this would be. Maybe, Tyler, we do have a few more white elephant exchanges to go. It's $18 for this poopery. And I think it'd be the funniest gift ever. Also, it's a really good thing that none of our friends watch our videos because otherwise they would see exactly what we're bringing. I think Emily watches it from time to time. So and I think might... that's about it. So Emily, don't tell anyone. No, we're not, probably not gonna use it for that one. This will probably be- Oh, for right a different one. Yeah, well, then don't tell our, our families. Ones. Although we could swap swap things around. I guess you'll never know. Ooh. This is such a good deal if you're gluten-free. Um, you cannot get this big of a bag of gluten-free chicken nuggets anywhere for that price. Just saying. My mom is gluten-free, so I'm always like looking at stuff like that. So we always get frozen fruit here typically because they have a lot of options. But this, my mother-in-law, Tyler's mom, was telling us about and it already has like kale and spinach in it and i think she said it makes like six different smoothies so i'm like that's pretty cool so we figured we'll give this a try you can't handle raspberries but i can so this is still my favorite aisle in costco and we've gotten a lot of their tyler they don't have their breakfast blend or the dark one oh, the no, costco no, no. oh okay um we like those but sometimes when we get a whole box of one thing like 120 it's a really good deal but you get really tired of it so we've discovered this one and it's a little bit pricier, but you get a bunch of different kinds. This one's my personal favorite and they I bought that box before too. And you may say black coffee, how can they all taste different? But I'm telling you they do. Don't you agree? 100%, yeah. yeah. Um, oh, there's the bold. Here's one thing they don't have. The holiday one. They, they had holiday <gasps> no, one last time. No, we should have bought five. I knew it. <laughs> what kind of, Tyler, you got some 
whole bean uh, coffee for yeah. when we make like pots of coffee. This is the best deal in town, and it's actually pretty good coffee. Two and a half pounds, brewed by Starbucks, 11 bucks. Incredible. Best deal in town. It is. And it's actually good. I, I like the taste of the coffee, too. <laughs> they have, they have We're Starbucks. hyperventilating. <laughs> they have Starbucks and espresso pods. Can you tell we like no. caffeine and coffee? Because we really, really yeah. like coffee and espresso. Now, this is, we got this last time. We weren't sure they were going to fit in our thing, and they do. And they're actually really good. And they're 80, you get 80 for 30. These, you get 60 for 40. So it's I'm a like, way uh, worse deal. But and this is actually pretty good coffee. I mean, it is. espresso. But I'm curious to try these. We don't need them now because we literally just bought that. So we have far too much espresso. Right, but we'll be to next sunset. time. And it is new because remember Starbucks used to have their own espresso thing. Yeah, they had their own. Long place. time ago. Whatever happened to that? Now, I know what you're thinking. Just that you can make cold brew. And Tyler has many times made cold brew. But there's something to be said to be able to just go. Ah. Mine would be with the straw though. <laughs> Obviously. I don't know. I also like will buy like the liters or whatever of cold brew and those are really good too. And that's kind of like wasteful of the cans, but also. <sighs> Their flower section is absolutely gorgeous. And the prices are actually like pretty decent compared to like other like grocery stores. For example, you might get flowers at. Oh my gosh. Look how pretty. And as always, as I always mention, they have really good deals on like skincare and body care. Oh my gosh, I freaking love Costco. Uh, no big deal, it's just my favorite like hair care brand, Shea Moisture, now has these, these giant pump bottles of their shampoo and conditioner. I've never actually tried this line though. So I think I'd wanna try it because it's still pricey, $17.99 for one of them. But oh, they make such good, good hair care. All right, we're heading out. I'll show you what I got when we get home. So I promised y'all I would show you everything I got from Costco. I figured we'd start with the food because I didn't show you a lot of it. I talked about, we got the smoothie stuff and then this is our, this is something we have gotten before. It's our favorite blend for smoothies because it does, it just tastes so good, these fruits together. It's kind of more like rare fruit to find in the frozen food aisle. <laughs> so like peaches, mango, strawberries, and pineapple. And it just makes a really good, kind of more tropically green smoothie. And then I'm excited to try those. And then we always buy a bag of pita chips there because you cannot find a better deal for Stacy's pita chips than at Costco. Um, like I said, I got a bottle of wine just because it sounded good. And it was under $10. I find it very hard to spend any more than $10 for a bottle of wine because I've had 4 and $5 bottles of wine that are just delicious. So <laughs> anyway, I'm sure wine snobs are like dying right now as I say that. Another favorite snack, and actually my one-year-old really likes these, these little wisps. They're nice because they're kind of a cleaner snack. They're literally just Parmesan cheese and then like sea salt. So it's a decently clean snack for me. They're salty and savory, which is nice. And I can only eat like a handful and then I'm like done because it's such a strong flavor. So it's perfect for settling those like pangs for this kind of a snack. Uh, Tyler mentioned these, that he got these chickpeas. These really are good. They have a couple of other flavors like at regular grocery stores other than the sea salt. And they're, they have all been really good. I think Costco only had the sea salt version in this big bag. And then this we decided to pick up for my daughter, but also, I mean, I would eat them. And to be honest, a lot of the snacks that say that it's like cauliflower based aren't necessarily the healthiest thing. But I was surprised to find out that the actual first ingredient is cauliflower. A lot of times with like cauliflower crust and things, the like cauliflower is not even close to the first ingredient. So that was very surprising. And I said, yeah, it's just something different for her to snack on. And then as I mentioned, I got my favorite grouping of the coffee pods they sell. And then another thing we buy almost every single time we go is this quiche two pack. It's not the best quiche I've ever had, but it's still pretty good. It's great for a quick breakfast. It's great for a quick lunch or dinner. I mean, I honestly just love eggs and I love quiche so much. So it's nice to have these in the freezer. And then we got non, again, the best deal in town for this. You get like a four or five pack of this for the same price at a grocery store as you would this giant pack at Costco. So I love these. These are so good warmed up. We put harissa on them. They're delicious dipped in hummus. You could put Nutella, peanut butter. There's so much you can do with these. And again, my one-year-old even likes those. And then we got the house blend coffee. And like he was mentioning, it is actually Starbucks coffee technically. Isn't that wild? And then this one is new. I'm excited to try the dark chocolate nuggets. It's coconutty. And again, I've heard this is a decently clean snack for something that's super sweet. And then we've gotten this before and it's just a really, the cheese is actually pretty darn good and it's a lot of it and it actually lasts a couple months. Uh, the best by day is like until April. So like sometimes what I'll do is 
take half of it out and put it in another container to use. And then the other half I'll just freeze until we need it. This is something I've not tried. It's their, it's the Purdue Simply Smart Organics Chicken Breast Chunks. I was just kind of intrigued. You know, they look like they might be at least a little bit cleaner than just the standard chicken nuggets. So not only just for me and my husband, but also my daughter. Cause she, she's not a huge fan of chicken. She'll basically just like suck the honey mustard off of the chicken. <laughs> anyway, uh, our favorite protein powder, it's 30 bucks for this huge thing, which might sound expensive if you've never bought protein powder, but man, protein powder can be really expensive for even smaller cans. So this one tastes good. It's vanilla. We put it in with the fruit and everything. If you want to see how we make our fruit smoothies, our green smoothies, they're delicious. They don't taste like kale or spinach, but there's a ton of nutrients in it. I will link a video where we show it down below. And then clothing wise, I did get a few things. I really was in need of new pajamas, especially for winter. A lot of the ones I had are just kind of old from when I was first postpartum over a year ago. And so I just wanted some fresh ones that fit me and that are not a couple years old, you know? So this was, I want to say under 15 bucks and it just looked really soft and kind of lightweight. And I like that they're kind of the jogger style pant. And then just a classic little flannel set I showed you. And again, this was under 15 bucks. And then one thing I didn't mention in the store, I'm buying these jeans. Social Standard, I'm pretty sure Sanctuary is a really nice brand. And these were, I want to say under 20. And it's a size smaller than what I typically get. But I have lost a little bit of weight. So I'm curious to see if these fit. I know Costco is really good about returns. So I'll try them on, see if they fit. But they felt really nice. And a lot of the ones, a lot of the pants I have now are getting just a little bit loose on me. So I'm, I'm hoping they fit. And then I also got this sweater from the brand Buffalo that was super soft, I showed you. And then we got some melatonin. We'll use this. It's a little more natural of a way to kind of fall asleep if you're struggling to sleep. So every once in a while, if we're really sick or we're just tossing and turning, we'll take one of these. And it is so wonderful. Um, and then Tyler did get his little smart dimmers for the basement. <laughs> and then he got these V-neck undershirts. And we got that little kid's book. And then this we really did get for the White Elephant Gift Exchange. We'll see which family ends up with this in the gift exchange. But I just think that's so funny. So I hope that you enjoyed this little Costco shop with me slash grocery haul. Um, if you enjoy this style of video, let me know. I would love to do this for a couple of stores I go to. I've done it before for Aldi and that was really fun. I can link that video below. Um, I'm probably due to do a fresh Aldi shop with me. I also want to do Trader Joe's. I love watching Trader Joe's hauls on YouTube anyway, so I'd love to do that. And I haven't been to Trader Joe's in a long time. There's not one crazy close to me, so it's not always convenient, but maybe in another week or two when we need a few more groceries. If you're wanting to see more of my Costco favorites, my Costco rec recommendations, my shop with me's, I have done this quite a few times on my channel. I can link a playlist down below that I just created with all of my shop with me's. And other than that, I hope you subscribe, stick around. I upload three videos a week. Right now, as you're catching this, I'm in the heat of Vlogmas. So we're uploading like five-ish, six times a week. So if you're curious to see more vlog style videos, kind of like this one, definitely check out Vlogmas. They're really, really fun. We share a lot of the food we're cooking. Um, sometimes we're out shopping. So the times we're just around the house doing stuff and sharing some of our favorite things with you guys. So I love you all. Thanks for tuning in. I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye. Mm -hmm.